a waste site has been put into the Takahagi Forest. The government proposed a second radioactive waste site. So these waste sites are being scattered throughout these national forests throughout Japan. Lots of them are being put inside Fukushima. You also have the part where Naomi, where this forest fire was found, had some very high deposits of Fukushima radioactivity. And the trees, the trees kind of acted like a barrier where they were absorbing a lot of this radiation. And you know when they tell people to worry about the pollen, the pollen is a serious issue because the pollen has a lot of radioactive particles that were found in it. So a lot of times you even get pollen reports in the United States and probably people are getting sick from the radioactive pollen more than the pollen itself. So imagine all this wood is on fire burning and the woods absorb a lot of that radioactivity. They were just a couple miles near Fukushima that's burning. Plus, you have radioactive bags scattered throughout the country. How, how many of those radioactive bags caught on fire? We don't know. Did TEPCO move bags over to the burn area? Certainly a way to save money for them. I wouldn't put it past them. Senior Vice President and Minister Katishoko Yokimitsu suggested as a disposal in National Forest in the Takahaki Prefecture. He explained the forest is located far from residential areas. He has said it has sufficient space and topography and geological stability. Governor Hashimoto replied he would have to consult local residents and municipalities. Yokimitsu later visited Takihaga City Hall and met Mayor Yoshio Kusuma, who rejected the government's proposal. Earlier this month, Environment Ministry officials met similar hard opposition when they proposed a national forest in Yada in Tochigi Prefecture at its disposal site for the prefecture's own contaminated ash and mud. Each of Japan's 47 prefectures is required to specifically dispose of its own radioactive ash and mud with cesium levels of more than 8,000 becquerels per kilogram. The governments allow waste of below 8,000 becquerels to remain in landfills. The government selects Tochigi Forest as its nuclear waste disposal site. The government said it had chosen a 4 hectare area of national forest land in Tochigi Prefecture as a candidate storage site for radioactive waste from Fukushima Prefecture. The area is near the town of Yeada. It's the first time that the government has publicly announced a site for waste storage in a national forest. However, the announcement seemed to take Tochiga officials by surprise. Environmental Minister Katishioko Yokimitsu outlined the government's plan to build a storage site to Tuchiga. This was in 2014 guys, so this storage waste facility is there in the middle of these woods. Probably just sitting around in bags. Both men later told reporters they were surprised at the decision. NHK reported. He also said it will be difficult to secure the approval of nuclear waste as local residents will likely disapprove. Yeah, likely. Environmental Minister Goshi Hosono, who was also the minister in charge of the nuclear crisis, had previously said that the government was looking at a candidate disposal site in Miyagi, Chiba, and Ibaraki prefectures. The ministry said that around 48,000 tons of waste containing radioactive cesium, over 8,000 becquerels per kilogram, need to be disposed of. Now it says over 8,000 becquerels. 
which means you could be, who knows, 100,000 becquerels. That's the, the limit that it can be in a regular waste site. It has to be under 8,000 becquerel, which is pretty freaking high anyway to be in a waste site. There's also a lot of other places around Fukushima where they're probably hiding large amounts of radioactive waste. Giant mounds. This was uh, by the Louisiana Boondoggle. Mounds. What are in those mounds? Would you like some instant coffee or junk food on your way to clean up rat waste, Mr. Homeless? We thank you for your service. Please tuck in your seat after dying. Thanks for your cooperation. Not a robot. Yep. The robot might have already short circuited by now. The human. It's got power. More power to withstand the radiation than even our robot. Yeah, safety first. Let's not trip over that dangerous cement block as you're just breathing in hundreds of buckyballs of cesium. Strontium and plutonium. What are these? Little coffins? Graves? You put the bodies of the workers, the tech workers? Positive workers here. 